So this question is a diagram question. Again, I call all questions that provide some visual input, I call them all diagram questions. And I suggest that you take a look at the input that's provided, the visual input that's provided, whether it's a graph, a geometrical figure, um, whatever it may be, and make sure you understand that first before reading the actual question. So this, uh, this chart, this table here says that what we have here are the results on the bar exam of law school graduates. It looks like this row was for the people who took the review course. And then here's if you did not take a review course. And then the first column here is for people who passed the bar exam. And then the second column is for did not pass a bar exam. And I like to use this uh, method called the pinpoint method, which basically just says choose a number and see if you can interpret what it means. So I'm circling 93 here. So 93 in this case would be people who did not take a review course and did not pass the exam, right? So if I can do that, that means I can pretty much interpret what any of the numbers here are. So just doing it once is good enough. So the question actually says, the table above summarizes the results of 200 law school graduates who took the bar exam. So I'm just gonna write bar equals 200 students. Yeah, and I under, we, we understand it's bar exam. Um, next sentence says, if one of the surveyed graduates who passed the bar exam is chosen at random. Okay, so now because I paid attention, when I see pass the bar exam, it immediately draws my eyes back up to here. Well, how many students passed the bar exam? Well, 18 passed who took the review course and seven passed who did not take a review course. So 18 plus seven, which equals 25, passed. So now I read this again. If one of the survey graduates who passed the bar exam is chosen at random for an interview, what is the probability that the person chosen did not take the review course? Well, anytime I see the term probability, right? So probability on the SAT basically can be translated as what you want over the total. So the total we know for people who passed is 25. What do I want? Well, I want um, to choose at random for an interview, probably that a person did not take the review course. Well, how many people did not take the review course? Well, that is seven. So seven out of 25 is my probability, and therefore the answer is choice B.